So something we like to do here before we read a book, we typically have done this with shorter books. This is the longest book we're doing it for, is we're just going to read the whole book. Um, now, some of you are like, whoa, I want to get out by lunch. Um, don't worry. I timed it. It takes, it takes under an hour, but it, it is longer than a normal sermon. And so um, service may be 10 to 15 minutes longer than normal. Um, but we really do believe that it's important to read this book, read this book aloud um, for a number of reasons. Uh, I emailed a lot of y'all some reasons before, but in case you missed that, the first is, number one, this is just, it's God's inspired and errant word. Um, I, I, I joked with our elders, I'm like, well, I can just get up and say, this is the greatest sermon you're ever going to hear, um, and then just read the Bible and sit down, and that would be true, um, because this contains no error, it's inspired by God, um, and so, so that's, I mean, far and away, number one, this is God's word to us. Um, secondly, is that publicly reading God's word in a congregational setting is not only a biblical practice in the Old and New Testament, but it's a biblical command. Um, we're, we're called to, we as pastors are called to read the word aloud to y'all. Um, and so we, we want to do that. Um, third is that it provides a lot of helpful context. Not only as we continue to go through the book over the next couple months, you guys are going, oh, okay, I understand. He's, okay, this is happening because this is going to happen later. I get all that. But you'll also see, as, as, as you read through the Bible just in general, um, you'll see where this fits in the big, God's big story of redemption unfolding from Genesis all the way through Revelation. And then lastly, number four, um, in, in Romans chapter 10, Paul calling Christians to evangelism. And he says, um, you know, how will they believe if, if they don't hear? And how will they hear if we're not sent? And, um, like, faith comes from hearing, hearing from the Word of God. And so I, I truly believe, and, and as we were praying kind of the week leading up to this, and, and as we were praying in our elder meeting earlier this month, um, I, I truly believe, I, I don't know all the things that's going to happen today, all the ways that the Lord is going to use this in your hearts, um, but I, I think that God is going to do, I truly believe God's going to do something incredibly special um, through us just reading the word. And you'll hear the third verse. It literally says, blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy. Blessed are those who hear and keep what is written in it, for the time is near. 